Alright guys, today I want to be talking about Minecraft. Now, I've been using Minecraft for about a month and it's a pretty amazing piece of software. It's an amazing game, um, much fun, very addictive and very creative. So, if you've not played it, go ahead. You can play it for free on the website. If you like it, go ahead and purchase it. It's a very, very good game. Now, while playing it, I wanted to see if I could get a bird's eye view of the map just to see where things are within my world and this one I found works very well for me and I just wanted to show you guys so you need to download the link all the information is below but there is a 32 version and a 64 bit version and both of them are below in the description so download the version that you need for your PC to your desktop once you've done that right mouse and extract it once you've extracted it, obviously you open up the folder and you get a folder within the folder, so go in that folder and you'll see loads of files here that are no concern. The only one that we want is mcmapdzgui, so double click. Now you'll have this here, there's two tabs, general and advance. So, in general, go to the world and that is in .minecraft saves the world. Open. Now, MC map configuration, rendering options. You got enable lighting, render biomes. Now, I tried clicking this and rendering, and for some reason it won't do it. Unless you guys know exactly why, and you can fix it, fair enough. Maps to render, you got day, night, nether, and you can see cave isn't clickable. I'm not too sure why on this version. Plus, you can limit the area. So, if you're an area that you just want to render, you can choose the area. You have custom settings, use block colors, use foliage colors. And you have tile settings, so I'm going to use PNG optimized PNG files. So I go to advanced. My orientation is east, so you can click on whichever direction you want to go. You can have custom block colors. You can also um, browse for a folder containing all the foliage colors. Memory limit, rendering noise, might ha um, max height. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dump map information and save PNGs. I have not clicked any of them, um, I don't need any of them, so just save settings and this will remember the settings, not the world, but the settings for next time you come in. So once you've clicked everything you need to click, just click render, and this will render both day and night and make it viewable for you on your computer. So it's done. It took 1 minute 19 seconds, press any key to continue and nothing else will happen. This is no longer needed so click the X. Within the folder go to renders and you will see your world like this. Now it will open up in your browser, in your default browser. My default browser is Firefox so don't go ahead and double click index. So let's make this full screen, F11. And there you go guys, there is my world from a bird's eye point of view. Now obviously if you change the orientation this map will turn left or right. At the minute it's not in 3D so you can't zoom in around the objects but for me this is perfect because it shows, you me, shows me exactly where things are and how far I can build out or where I need to build stuff and it's a pretty cool piece of kit. Now at the top left here you see show labels on the right here you can choose between day and night. So obviously this looks all right at well, this looks all right in day. But if you click night, I'm gonna click home, you see everything lit up as if it is like in the map, which is pretty, pretty cool. So guys, if you like this, go ahead, download it, use it. Very helpful. Um, just a quick video, I really just want to show you the software. It's a really good piece of software. And if you use Minecraft a lot, I think it'd be very helpful to you. Anyway, guys, I will be showing you my world in a later video. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.